Hey everyone, welcome back to Cooking with TK. You guys, this is what I have prepared before you. Some delicious black eyed peas. I know a lot of people are looking for black eyed peas um, recipes um, for the New Year's. Um, I guess it's a tradition here in the South um, that people do black eyed peas, I guess, uh, for prosperity and a good year to come. Um, some people do hop and johns. I'm just showing you guys how to make some delicious black eyed peas that are on point. Okay, you guys, when I tell you that these black eyed peas are seasoned well and very tasteful, I want you to follow this recipe. Hit that notification bell. Hit that subscribe button. And let's go ahead and get into this video. And please leave lots of comments down below. Let's get it, y'all. Hey everyone, welcome back to Cooking with TK. You guys, this is what I have prepared before you. Some delicious black eyed peas. I know a lot of people are looking for black eyed peas um, recipes um, for the New Year's. Um, I guess it's a tradition here in the South um, that people do black eyed peas, I guess, uh, for prosperity and a good year to come. Um, some people do hop and johns. I'm just showing you guys how to make some delicious black eyed peas that are on point. Okay, you guys, when I tell you that these black eyed peas are seasoned well and very tasteful, I want you to follow this recipe. Hit that notification bell. Hit that subscribe button. And let's go ahead and get into this video. And please leave lots of comments down below. Let's get it, y'all. Hey everyone, welcome back to Cooking with TK. Today, you guys, we are going to make some black eyed peas, but we are going to do them in our Ninja Foodie, okay? We are going to make these black eyed peas in our Ninja Foodie pressure cooker black eyed peas. Um, if you have an Instapot, uh, Insigna pressure cooker, or any type of pressure cooker, um, you can do this recipe. So the ingredients that you will need to make um, black eyed peas in your Ninja Foodie or your pressure cooker, you will need some smoked um, spiral ham slices. If you don't have this, you can use bacon. You can use neck bones for your black eyed peas. You can use a ham hock for your black eyed peas. But today I'm using spiral smoked ham slices and pieces, okay? You're going to need a pack of black eyed peas. This pack is $1 at Walmart. And also you can find this smoked spiral ham slices and pieces at Walmart too right now. They actually have it on sale beside the collard greens and the black eyed peas for um, New Year's. Because they know a lot of people cook collard greens and black eyed peas for New Year's. Okay. Some people make hopping johns for New Year's. Okay. I'm going to use some Sazon seasoned by Goya. I have a chicken bouillon cube here by Nor. Um, you can use better than bouillon if you have that. I'm going to use one small onion. I'm going to use some minced garlic, some black pepper, some crushed red pepper, some onion, some garlic powder, and I'm going to use a little bit of this oil just to saute my onions up in and put a little cook on my ham. And of course, you're going to need water to pour in your pressure cooker to cover your black eyed peas okay so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to chop this onion if you choose to use bell pepper and celery the winter onion the holy trinity by all means do so okay you can use green bell pepper or red bell pepper to make your black eyed peas and also you probably won't need about one and a half stalks of celery or one stalk of celery for your black eyed peas if you choose to use um those ingredients for your black eyed peas okay so let's go ahead and let's get started making these black eyed peas in our pressure cooker um our ninja foodie this is a ninja foodie recipe okay y'all so first thing i'm gonna do is put my black eyed peas in a bowl i'm not about to soak these what i'm about to do is i'm about to take the no good black eyed peas out okay i'm gonna sit that to the side because i'm gonna use that you see a pea that look like this? These dirty looking peas. Oh. That's what we're trying to get out. The bad beans. 
um, take your hand like this in the pot and just do your peas like that. And you should be able to find the bad peas in your bag, okay? Now, if you want to soak your beans overnight, by all means, do so. You know, if you're cooking them on top of the stove. Um, but when you're using a pressure cooker, you really don't have to soak them overnight, okay? But you do have to find these bad beans, okay? Find the bad ones. And that's how you clean your peas. Okay, you guys, so go ahead and plug your Ninja Food up. Hit your start button. And we're going to hit that um, sear saute button. And we're going to allow this to warm up um, for the sear saute. It's going to take a few minutes. I'm going to go ahead and place some olive oil. You can place whatever type of oil you have in your skillet. I mean, in your Ninja Foodie pressure cooker. Okay, because we're going to saute our onions. And we are going to put a little cook on this ham. Just a little crisp on it, okay? So, I'll be back when it's up to press. Okay, you guys. So, our sear saute um, tank mode has come to um, full temperature. So, it is starting to cook and simmer down. I went ahead and added the celery and the red bell pepper um, to this. Um, you can use green or red bell pepper whichever one you have and as you can see um, from this piece of ham that it is starting to cook down okay so I'm gonna go ahead and add seasoning to this meat I'm gonna add some black pepper to start out with okay I'm not gonna use salt because the sazon and the other things that I'm using have salt okay Black pepper, black pepper, black pepper. Y'all know how I feel about that black pepper. We're going to go ahead and we're going to use some squeezed garlic, mixed garlic. Um, if you have uh, fresh garlic, by all means, use your fresh garlic, okay? I'm trying to get this out. And use about a tablespoon of garlic, okay? That's all you need. And... You're going to stir this together, like so, okay? Remember, the ham has salt on it. Um, if you're using bacon, bacon has salt on it. Um, the chicken bouillon has salt on it. Um, I do have chicken broth that I am using. It's low-sodium so low chicken broth, okay? So that means it doesn't have as much salt. To it, okay. Remember, we're just gonna cook these veggies a little. We don't want them completely cooked down because they're gonna cook some more with the pressure cooker mode. But we just want to extract some of that flavor, okay? I'm gonna go ahead. I am still gonna use garlic powder, okay? I'm still gonna use onion powder. Because we just want to enhance the flavor. We don't want to overpower. You're using a teaspoon of that. And our crushed red peppers, okay? And remember, you don't want to use a dab of that too. Just a pinch. That's it. You don't want your peas to burn you, okay? So. We're going to cook this for about um, five more minutes. And then we're going to start to add our peas and our liquid in, okay? And we're going to go ahead and pressure cook this. Okay, everyone. So our veggies have cooked down, okay? And our ham has got a little cooked to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to add these um, black eyed peas, okay? Don't worry about that noise. That's just the water hitting the oil. And it's not that much of oil in there from that olive oil because it cooks out, okay? And remember, this is just one small pack of um, beans. You can cook up to two packs of those beans. These black eyed peas, these are dry black eyed peas. 
Um, I wouldn't advise anybody to cook canned black eyed peas in a ninja food pressure cooker because those beans are already cooked basically and that would just make them just mushy more like a soup or a gravy okay okay so we have those beans into our ninja foodie so now i'm going to go ahead and start to add the liquid one thing you want is the liquid to cover your black eyed peas okay when making this recipe and this is one this is 32 ounces of chicken broth okay remember you don't have to have that um chicken broth you can just use water in the season and i'm adding about i added about two cups of water and um that's just about the gist of the liquid that you'll need so now i'm gonna go in with this sazon seasoning y'all i'm gonna add the sazon i am gonna add my chicken bouillon okay if you got the powder can you can use that that's just one cube remember don't add no more salt okay please don't i'm still gonna go in with a little bit of onion powder remember don't add too much because after it cooks, you can go and add more seasoning if you need so. But you don't want to add too much. Okay, now that's our seasoning. That was some more black pepper. We're going to stir this together, y'all. See that? And now what I'm going to do is put my pressure lid on, and we are going to allow this to cook okay so this is my pressure lid okay okay so we have a pressure lid on so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit pressure okay make sure that this is in the sealed position okay sealed and what you're gonna do is you're gonna have it in high you're going to hit the time for 35 minutes, okay? Do 30 to 35 minutes, okay? I'm doing 35 because I want mine a little bit more mushy, okay? You're going to hit start. Remember, it has to come up to pressure, and it takes about 10 minutes for it to come up to pressure. So, in all... This will take you a, a less than an hour to have your black eyed peas done in your pressure cooker. So if you have an a Instapot pressure cooker, any type of pressure cooker, you can cook beans in it, dry beans. Okay, I'll be back, you guys, with the finished product. Okay, you guys, what I want you to know about using a pressure cooker to cook anything, okay? Um, you see this... But this knob here, it comes up. Once it has reached full pressure, it will be out, sticking out of that circle, okay? And you will see um, this going around. It doesn't matter what you have. Even if you have a sim on your sim pot, you'll see the thing going up for the steam. Once it has reached full pressure, you will see the numbers on here. From like where I put that 35 minutes, it'll be like 35, 34, and it'll start going down. Um, it start going backwards all the way down to one minute um, for it to cook, okay? Okay, you guys, remember I put it on 35 minutes. I want to show you guys what it looks like when it comes to full pressure. Um, it's at 31 minutes left to go. Okay, so it's kind of backwards like I told you it would. And here is the knob. I told you guys that the knob would come up. It's hot. Be careful. Don't touch it like I just did. Okay. And remember to make sure it's in the seal position in order to get your pressure cooker to come to full pressure. Okay. So we'll be back when these um are done. These black eyed peas. This is the last day of 2020. This is December the 31st, 
2020 and a lot of people want to know how to cook black eyed peas there are a lot of videos out there on how to cook black eyed peas on the stove and season them how to soak them overnight um and there are some pressure cooker black eyed peas videos but i have some subscribers that ask me how to to make more ninja foodie videos so that's why i'm using my ninja foodie for a recipe ninja foodie recipe series and this is my ninja foodie pressure cooker black eyed peas um some would say black eyed peas new year new year's black eyed peas to me it's just regular black eyed peas okay everyone so it said done you see the seconds are going back up this would be a manual release it's gonna go all the way up for maybe about 10 minutes or whatever until the pressure is released that means that this button would go down um but i'm not gonna do that i'm gonna go ahead and do a quick release so what i do is i hit stop okay then i hit the off button okay and i'm gonna unplug it okay and then we're gonna hit the vent you get your stick or something like that and you do it slowly okay see that steam this is how you do a quick release and once the quick release is done this red button will drop okay Okay, everyone, so the button has dropped, and it is safe to say that we can open the Ninja Foodie, okay? So I'm opening it. There's a lot of steam, okay? Okay, so these are black eyed peas, everyone. Perfectly cooked black eyed peas in our ninja foodie okay so you can cook black eyed peas in your pressure cooker okay see the ham meat see the veggies mm-hmm I hope you guys enjoyed this video they smell delicious. You can cook them longer, you know. If you want them to be a little more mushy, okay. I want to taste this sauce. It's delicious. I'm finna, um, oh, that's good. I'm finna plate these up, y'all. Okay, everyone, so this is our finished product. These are our black eyed peas. Trust me, these black eyed peas are on point. If you have a pressure cooker, I want you to use the exact ingredients that I used. Use the exact timing that I just used. And I promise you, I promise you, your family will enjoy these black eyed peas. Um, you don't have to use the spiral ham. You can use a neck bone or a ham hock, okay, or some bacon, but I promise you use those exact seasonings, use the bell pepper and the celery and the onion, mmm, 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 y'all these black eyed peas are kicking, with that juice, some cornbread, baby, trust me, woo, everybody will enjoy those black eyed peas, I hope everybody have a wonderful, wonderful and prosperous day. Um, I appreciate each and every one of you guys that supported my channel in 2020 because that, that's what got me to my monetization. I appreciate and love all of my subscribers. And I pray for everyone in our society, not just America, but around the world. Um, 2020 was a hard year for us. Um, and I pray that 2021 is a better year. Okay, you guys? 
Thanks for tuning in with Cooking with TK. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and come back to my channel for another video. Peace and have a great day.